Good morning, everyone. Glenmas Slate Power here. I want to talk to you today about being prepared in emergency situations. Now, talked to you yesterday, my video about making sure your standby generator is ready. Today, I want to talk to you about how to make your, yourself, your home, and your business ready for any sort of natural disaster or man-made disaster, for that matter, that causes an interruption in power and then an interruption in your life. No. First two things here, you see on the news every time there's a hurricane down south, you see tons of news stories about people looting, crime going all over the place, and people just taking advantage of people in their worst situation. Now, statistically, chances of it happening to you are relatively slim, but you still need to prepare for it. Um, protection and security, you know, interpret that how you want, but us here in New York State Site Power and National Site Power, we are strong believers in the United States Constitution and our natural individual liberties that come along with it and the American excellence that comes along with it. Now, keep in mind, our rights are not derived from the government. They are natural. They are ours, and they are ours to use responsibly. Now, you're a Second Amendment guy like us, I want to make sure you're familiar with your firearm. You want to make sure you have adequate ammunition. You want to practice. You want to practice the basics. You want to practice the basics every day. You know, the masters in self-defense, they practice the basics. And, you know, more advanced stuff, but... The basics are the fundamentals of self-protection. Now, if you're not familiar with it, I know a lot of people aren't. You know, you may watch a Clint Eastwood movie or something and uh, think you're going to go all guns blazing on, on some looters coming to your house. Well, it's not a smart idea. Not if you don't know what you're doing. We recommend taking a training class. Now, the company we're not, fit, um, we're not affiliated with, but... We know some of the people there, and they do great work. You hear them on the news. Check out Rochester Personal Defense up in Gates. You know, sign up for one of their self-defense classes, you know, involving firearms you know, or not firearms. You know, they, they do offer other options. But they're, they're great programs. Strongly recommend taking a program like that, a training course, you know, whether it's through them or somebody else. You know, it's just going to help you out in the long run. Again, security, you know, your, your ring doorbell is not going to work. Um, you don't want to make sure you have good locks on your home. Take an inventory of your possessions, you know, especially possessions of value. You know, jewelry, family heirlooms, stuff of value. Take pictures of it, especially of anything specifically identifying that piece. Take a picture of it save it. I don't recommend saving it to the cloud because that can fail. Print it off, write down the, make your own serial number for it or item number, put it in your safe, put it in a safe deposit box if you still have one of those. I know some people do. So if something does come up missing, you can identify what's yours and uh, hopefully recover it. Yeah, or you can, you know, give your insurance company adequate information so you can get compensated for it for what it's actually worth. Um, heat's another thing. If you don't have a standby power system and your home's all electric, if we get another ice storm like we did back when I was a kid, you're not going to have heat. Now, you may be tempted to buy a buddy heater or another type of small propane space heater. Don't use those indoors. That's very dangerous. Anything that burns a fuel, fossil fuel in particular, they, they create carbon monoxide gas, and you don't want that in your home. So make sure you also have uh, battery-operated carbon monoxide detectors. You can get them inexpensive anywhere. Any home supply store, home improvement store will have them. You can buy them online for dirt cheap. You know, it's, it's cheap insurance is to make sure you're going to be safe. You know, carbon monoxide is a silent killer. 
And by the time you recognize symptoms, you've already been poisoned. So food, food and water is huge. During a natural disaster, you may not be able to go to the grocery store or a friend's house to get supplies. You might be stuck at home, you know, un until you can leave. Maybe a couple days, maybe a few weeks or more. So I recommend having at least two to three weeks worth of non-perishable food items in your pantry, as well as at least four or five gallon jugs of potable water so you can stay hydrated, you can cook meals, and you can be safe. Because a lot of times these natural disasters come with a boil water advisory. And if you don't have power to boil water, it's going to be very difficult. You're going to be out there building a fire to set up a pot over it like on the, like on the Discovery Channel. So you don't want to do that if you don't have to. Uh, medications, another one. You know, somebody like me, I'm type 1 diabetic. I have been since I was 7 years old. I require insulin to function and stay alive. So during natural disasters, make sure you call your pharmacy. If you know something's coming, get what you're going to need and get what you're going to need for a while because you might not be able to get there. Their delivery service might be down. And first responders are going to take a lot longer to get to you if there is a medical emergency. You're going to want a good first aid kit and you're going to want to get trained on how to use it and you're also going to want to get CPR trained as well. It's uh, a lot of places offer free classes, a lot of towns do, a lot of rotary clubs, a lot of, uh, a lot of different organizations offer these for free to the general public so when you see one on your community page posted I strongly recommend taking it it, it may save somebody's life, you know, or at least, uh, you know, it at least keeps somebody stable until uh, first responders can get there. So again, if you have any questions on what it takes to be prepared, give us a call 585-224-4000. We can help you come up with a preparedness kit. We can uh, include in that kit uh, common uh, repair items for your standby generator that you as a homeowner, if you have the prepared this mindset, you can probably handle some of these small repairs or replacement items. So we can help you come up with a kit so you can handle any situation that life throws at you. And again, our number is 585-224-4000 if you're in upstate New York or Northern Pennsylvania. If you're in Eastern or Middle Tennessee or Western Carolinas or North Georgia, you can call our Eastern Tennessee office, 423-458-6650, and we can take care of you so you can take care of your family no matter what life throws at you. Thank you, and have a great day.